what do you know about the charges that you've now, do you, do you believe you're guilty of the charges that you've been convicted of here? Yes. And, and you're currently serving time. Can you tell me about your conditions? Yes, I'm serving a 15-year sentence right now. And I've been, um, I've been going back and forth from hospital to the labor camp for the last uh, year and a half. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm serving at the labor camp right now. Can you tell me about the conditions at the labor camp? Um, condition in labor camp is I'm working eight hours a day, um, six days a week, and working um, agricultural work to other hard labor that is required to do every day. Do you, you think you're being treated humanely? Yes. And your message to your family? Well, I'm sure they're very worried about my health at this time. And um, uh, even though um, right now, like last, last month and a half, my health has been uh, also not, um, it's been failing. So right now that I'm, what I can say to my family and friends that is to continue to pray for me and also ask them to um, continue on the effort on um, and getting me released here. Can you tell me what you did? And did you know at that time that you were breaking the law here in North Korea? Um, well, I do. I did have uh, some assumptions, but I did not quite um, uh, agree with the charges until I got here. So, and after being um, trial for you know that during the period of time that I realized that uh, the, what I did has, has offended and then has violated their law. But, I, but at that time that I wasn't quite sure that it was quite serious as that they, they were charging me now. Can you give me more insight about your daily life and do you have contact with any of the other Americans? No. Or, Korea, or other uh, people, Koreans, that are in prison? No, there's actually, I'm the only prisoner in the, uh, in the camp. I've been, I've, been, I've been only prisoner in the camp for the last uh, year, year and a half. I, I didn't have any, anybody else in the camp other than the guard and, uh, uh, and there was there is one doctor uh, stationed in there as well. So how many staff members are overseeing you? Uh, okay. At least 15 or 20 people on uh, a daily basis but there are I think about 30 more 30 or more people in the in the camp. Do you get to talk to on a daily basis? Do you get to talk to people on a daily basis? Do you have what kind of communication do you have? Uh, um, just uh, talking with uh, just uh, with a guard and uh, you know just a uh, you know, small talk and that's all.